Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? In this video, we're going to feature four guitars that plays and sound great stock from Harley Benton. Some of you might know I'm a fan of Harley Benton guitars. You know, I bought a couple myself. Well, actually, a couple is an understatement. <laughs> but in any case, uh, the reason why I like them so much was because it's affordable and they're not shabbily made. They are well made. Um, some of the pickups and some of the hardware are, you know, are so so, you know, but that um, most of them are really uh, usable. Like I said many times, I, I, I'd rather use these guitars when I'm on the road uh, than to bring along a, a, a more expensive guitar. But, uh, you know, that kind of like uh, depends on the situation. I first bought the Black Paisley Tally. Uh, that was my first Tom Mind, uh, or rather my first Harley Benton Purchase. And it was really a good guitar. It plays really well, but in the end, I had to change the pickups to Seymour Duncan's. Uh, and uh, now it's a staple in my uh, in my in my studio collection as one of the guitars that I go to uh, when I'm doing recording. You know, it sounded really great, you know, and uh, just plays really well. And of course, I have the other guitars, you know. But uh, there are some guitars that I need to swap out pickups. Like for example, on uh, the first generation of the uh, the Roasted Maple Fusion Pro, you know, the first generation that that came in. I had to swap them out for Seymour Duncan's too because I found them to be too thin. Um, this is um, the same guitar, but this is the version 2. This is from my friend Jeff. Um, I guess the pickups are not really uh, different. You know, they're about the same. But this time around, I kind of like liked it the way it is. And, um, well, apparently Jeff thinks so too, you know, for now. Uh, I guess in time to come, you will probably swap these Roswell pickups too. But generally, they sound great, you know. And I did a review of this guitar when I first got hold of it, and it it sounded really good, you know. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Uh, then again, you know, it, it 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 all depends on the, you know, the make, you know. Um, I guess it's the same wood that they use, uh, but it sounds different. You know, it sounds different from um, the first generation. That's the reason why I swapped to Seymour Duncan's in the first place. And then there is the SC Custom line. 
you know. This was uh, bought um, at a discount because this is from Toman and it's a B stock. And I guess this was returned to them for whatever reason, but condition was really good and it sounded really good. And it's so light, you know. And I think for a Les Paul, or kind of PRS Les Paul ish type of guitar, you know, it's, it's just its purpose. And the pickups are really great. This, this pickup sounds really good, you know, and the playability is like, you know, so this is stock. Nothing has been changed and um, it sounded great. And then there's this TE40, you know, great looking guitar with two humbuckers. It's a pity though that these humbuckers cannot be split call. That would really be great, you know. But then again, of course, you can swap them out for, you know, different pickups. But it sounded good stock and you know, it still sounds good, you know, and uh, as you can tell from the song that I played. And uh, while Jeff did some modification, he did the, well, rather, you know, he bought a locking tuners for this and uh, roller string trees, you know. That's about the only modification he did. All this is, the rest is stock. It sounds good. And finally, there is this guitar. This is a Fusion Pro HH um, with the ocean green blue with uh, two humbuckers and chord split. Great tremolo system. You know, and uh, great pickups from Roswell. These pickups are really good, and I enjoy these pickups. Um, yeah, plays well, sounds great, looks good. You know, it's not heavy. And there's actually a fifth one, and that's a CST24. Uh, which sadly, in uh, in this video, I couldn't feature this because uh, while well, the first pickup kind of gave way, and there was no sound in the first pickup, so I had to uh, take a look at the pickup and see what's happened. But that guitar is also uh, worth uh, checking out because you know it it it, it, it sounds good, it, it plays well. So there there it is, you know, four guitars that I can feature, but you know, the fact remains that there are many more, you know. But there are some guitars that need to be swapped, or uh, certain hardware need to be swapped, either the pickups or certain tuners. Um, some of the tuners are a bit wank wonky, you know, they're kind of loose, but. Uh, if you can live with it, you know, that would suffice. But if you can't live with it, then it's uh, advisable to change them to a uh, better set of tuners. And most of the guitars that are featured, especially the uh, the Fusion Pro series, they all feature stainless steel frets. And uh, that will last a long time. You know? And the rest of the guitars, it, the cheaper models will feature just nickel frets, you know. And um, as far as the electronic goes, I guess the electronics are just your mainstream electronics and they're not like really high end. Um, but uh, as long as they play well, they, they function well, then there's no need to change them. You know, like what the old timers used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I've been asked so many questions about which Harley Benton to get and which Harley Benton to choose from, and whether this is good or not. I don't work for Harley Benton at all. You know, all these guitars, we, we, me and Jeff, you know, I bought so much of them, and it's, it's, it's through my own money. And it's by experience that we know that, hey, you know, Harley Benton guitars are not that bad. They're really good. So um, the choices is yours. So I thought I'd just feature some of these guitars that, are, that you can get uh, and play with it stock, yeah, without even changing anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. And if it does, give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel. Please join this channel if you want to, right? And I'll see you again in the next video. So in the meantime, you guys take care. Ciao.